Yeah, I guess I'd, I'd always knew what church planning was and heard about this idea of going out and being involved with a church on Central Coast that was quite um, intentional about that stuff, heard about that for years. But then in 2008, um, we started talking about Salt Church with, some, with Dan and Renee. And so that was when we first started thinking about it. Well, it was, it was hard thinking about moving somewhere else sort of so far away in the future, so it was a gap of about four years when we first started talking about it. Yep. Um, the biggest consideration, I guess, is was leaving, leaving family and established relationships and an established church. Um, yeah, we had all of our family within about 30 minutes of us, so that was a consideration in leaving this. If we're going to do this, that means, you know, leaving that and, mm. yeah, that was a big consideration. And what made it easier for you to make the transition to Wollongong? I guess the culture is pretty similar here in Wollongong, so it wasn't a cultural shock for us. Um, I think it's a little bit sappy, but Grant made it a lot easier. So we, I think, had been married for about six years or something when we moved down, and it was helpful to establish our own sort of family and separate from our families and even where we were. Mm. Um, but he was, yeah, God blessed us in our move together that we were. To me, it felt like home just because we were together wherever we were going. So, yeah, that was good. It's important for the vision and the key ideas to, for everyone to know them, for people to be sold on it together, to know what we're about. And I think two years down the track now, we're still seeing how it's hard for it's hard to get people on a vision. It's hard to engage them in something truly. So having a core who's on about the same things, having a core that you know is trustworthy, that you can trust, that you can share things, that you can help each other, in is really important. We were so on board, and we understood what it was about, um, and we understood the vision of what it was. So. Um, I guess we committed to it and we weren't going to um, leave or it's it's after two years we sort of took a step back and realized we've been putting so much any energy into it for Grant with his business he needed to say I've got to I've got to cut some things out but that was really good because we could look around and know that other people could do things now mm. we weren't essential to things running or things happening we got such a good team of people at church who want to serve so mm. it, there has been a point of feeling a bit tired after two years but we've been able to hand stuff over so that's been really helpful but I think really um, we too wanted to see people in Wollongong come to know Jesus and we want to see his people discipled and we want to see him glorified so knowing that being fully committed to that has meant that we can stick it out and keep going because it's worth it and we agree with what Salt Church is doing. Mm. And so you haven't, um, you've been able to buy a house, you've been able to um, move no. a business down here, you've been able to, no, you oh, sorry. <laughs> we, rent, <laughs> we rent in a bad suburb, but we love it. Yeah. <laughs> we, Grant's been able to move his business. I think, yeah, we've seen God's faithfulness, that's why um, it's been, it's felt kind of easy. God's provided. Yep. He, I got a job three days a week teaching in a beautiful little school, doing what I love when we first moved down here, which meant I could do church stuff yep. as well. Um, Grant works for himself, so he's flexible. He can do church finance stuff, and I think, yeah, it worked pretty well. Mm -hmm.